Okay, welcome back. Let's continue. Um, uh, we uh, we will make here a definition. Um, let's call it add constraints A and B. Let's copy that and do it like this. And we also need the K and the D. And that is A, B, K, and D. And that is A. And B. So now these guys <coughs> can be replaced by just that. One to two and two to zero. Okay, and let's make more particles. We will have the entire car in two meters, in four meters. Yeah, and uh, we will have the uh, the wheel is going to be here. Then uh, we will add one more node, the same uh, exposition, and let's say seven. No, no, it's too much. Actually, seven. Let's go, let's go, I don't know, uh, let's go six, okay, and then like 14, and then 14 and 4, like so. Mm -hmm. And then let's uh, add some space here. For the first wheel, this guy will be the wheel, so let's uh, go ahead and say that this guy will have a radius one. Yeah, one. So this is the wheel. Let's uh, say. Let's make this guy 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and uh, the first wheel will be connected to the the top node, and also to the top and the right node. And then the, the second wheel will be like this. Also, we need to connect the top two nodes together. So we need to connect the one and the two, like so. So now we have five uh, strings and four particles. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, zero, one, zero, two, three, zero. No, three, zero. Three, one, and three, two.
Yeah. Nice. Uh, we could add one uh, to the center of that thing. Probably, yeah. But uh, let's uh, let it be like this for now. What I need to test is the height. So let's go with the round salt. Check the the um, terrain uh, collisions. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We, uh, as it seems, we have started to have some physics that looks kind of real. Right? Okay. Hmm. Now remember, we don't actually the wheels doesn't uh, don't rotate are static for now. Yeah, let's uh, let's have some fun. Let's uh, um, add uh, on the key down. What are you doing? And. Key up. Uh, let's uh, make a flag here. You guys have two. Gas. Mm. It goes <laughs> false. And I give I think two break breaks equals false. <laughs> and let's say for now, uh, if we press any key, not to continue, just if we press any key, uh, the gas is equal to true. As long as we have uh, that uh, key pressed, and when we release the key, uh, it's going to be false. And during the update frame, if gas, then physics. Um, particles. The front particle, which is the the back uh, wheel, actually, apply force. Yeah, and we are going to apply force. Uh, actually, the three unit X for now. That will be changed later on. Times speed acceleration. Um, max. Arcs 
cell uh, relation, right? Let's define that up there. Let's say 10. Let's build. And run it. And yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's bad. That shouldn't happen. Let's also follow the vehicle. So let's uh, get these two guys. And uh, during the update, the target is going to be wherever wherever the the back wheel is. And position. Yeah. So let's see. What is doing? Is the force too much? Maybe? No, it can be. Definitely something is wrong. Let's uh, I don't know. Let's try that. Okay, we have explosion there. So that is not a problem. Is it that? Nope. Uh, is that too high? Come on. Come on. Definitely the problem must be has to be the dumping. Yeah. The physics working <laughs> like on, go on. It's uh, why that Thank <laughs> you. 
That makes no sense. Wait, let's uh, let's try to add one more connection between uh, zero and three. Definitely something is wrong with that calculation. Is it that guy? Yeah, that guy is the problem. So for some reason that is still that thing still doesn't work. Is it? No, it cannot be that. It cannot be that. No. Uh, okay, let's try. How about that? That still makes no sense whatsoever. Uh -uh. No, no, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Oh my god, what I'm doing? I am not... Oh, it's not... Not reflect. Projection. Oh my god, what I was thinking. Okay. Uh, this is a minus here. How stupid that was. Okay. Now probably this is a we we need to add these values here. Yeah. And here we go. <laughs> Ta -da! Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 little car. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> Um, let's add more terrain here. Let's go and uh, make this uh, 0.5. Maybe.
Nice. And uh, let's add more. Oh, no, no, not you. Let's add more uh, nodes. <coughs> uh, I don't know. Let's uh, go here and add one more to ten and seven. And fourteen and seven. Actually, do we really need to do that? Probably not, but uh, let's say uh, add one more in the middle so we can make the body a little. So, yeah, let's do that. And you are going to be in the twelve. And you are zero uh, one two. So you have zero with one two three and four. One and two. Yep. You are two and three. You are the fourth. And you will be connected to one and two. This is zero three. Oh. Actually, uh, two and three. Like this, now another problem will will arrive, yeah, <laughs> it is uh, now it break in half because uh, these are not distance uh, distant constraints, but just it is just a distant constraint it's not um. Uh, it's not trying to keep the, the correct orientation or anything. Just a simple distance uh, constraint. Um, so yeah. We can add just more nodes. Okay. Let's add more nodes. Ten actually let's do it like this. Let's get all these guys move here and uh, let's go like this. So now this is five, six, and seven. So now we have one more row on the top. And we need to connect all these guys. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this. So we have the one. Must be connected to the five, the six, the seven, the same as two. The same as the third one. Actually, maybe we can do that in a full loop. Okay. 
Yeah, because now we need to connect. <sighs> oh, no, 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 that's okay. Now we need to add the connection from the fifth to the sixth, and then sixth to the seventh. Okay. Hopefully. This is wrong. You're doing it wrong. How can you do this? Thing? Well, <laughs> let's connect. This goes to three, and you going to one. Oh my god. <sighs> That's Let's go with uh, 40. We have a zoom in. Hmm, okay. Let's make these guys a little bit stronger. Like so. Yeah, this is the fun of programming. You will do some ch changes, small changes, and you are trying to see what works and what doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, increment also that guy. Let's uh, do it like this. Let's go here like five. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't really like the middle ones. Probably I will remove them. Probably. Maybe ten. We are about two hours and thirty minutes in the project. Okay, that's not that bad, actually. Yeah, 
Of course we need to make a smoother terrain, right? We can use um, pearly noise for that. Shall we do this? Probably we we will need to do that. <clears throat> hmm. Let's try with pearl noise. Now I do have mouth pearl noise, I believe. Yeah. I'm not using a uh, noise uh, that much often, but uh, we can try it. Pearl noise, noise. Not sure if I even uh, let's see noise. Mm -hmm. And you are going to be I Let's go with eight octaves. Let's see. Nice. I love it. Times one E minus four F no Let's uh, go ahead and make this a uh, bit smaller and then that to be like this maybe. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay for now. We can even multiply that by, let's say, five meters. Five meters is too much. Let's go by two. Whoop. And now we have no friction. We are going to add friction. That's not a problem. 
Hmm. Can we add 60 here? Just, just uh, to see the resolution actually. Yeah. Okay, now uh, there are two problems with this simulation here. One problem is that uh, there, there is no friction. The other problem is that um, the force must be applied only when uh, the, the, the back wheel is touching the ground, right? Yeah. And we can do that. by can you have here in the simple particle yeah you are 32 has conduct close close and that needs to be updated here equals like this <clears throat> then if particle has contact then you need to do the um, the resolution here like so and then when we adding the force here if gas and this conduct then we are adding acceleration Now we cannot see if that thing is working or not, but let's assume for now that it is working. We can have here for the outer color, this conduct. Or that, and if uh, we have contact, then this thing will be red because hey, it has a contact. Yeah, okay, that works. Mm -hmm. And we also need one more thing. We do need uh, when we applying. Uh, let me draw this. Let's say that we have. Uh, this terrain and let's say it is like this and we have the wheel here touching the ground now the force because the wheel is rotating uh, let's say this way uh, and uh, here is the um, contact point 
okay now because we do have friction here uh, there is um, there is one force that uh, tries to push the ground like this in this direction okay and because we have the friction that uh, force creates an opposite force for this uh, at this point to make it go uh, this way actually uh, yeah not yeah, no 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 <laughs> oh my god again this and uh, there is the wheel and then there is the contact point now that point is remember the um, the normal force for the ground is always 90 degrees uh, off to the perpendicular to the to the to the gradient of the slope so this force is in the same direction as the slope so that means if that force is negative the opposite and equal force goes this way so it is always uh, like the gradient of the ground so the force we need to add is always as the ground slope goes and this is that force is uh, right now we're just adding uh, you know always to the x and that's wrong that is wrong so we need to replace that guy with uh, this guy <clears throat> and we already have that uh, is uh, just that offset basically so here if he has contact there we will have the three contact gradient we will initialize zero here and the contact gradient if it has contact it's going to be actually contact gradient that's the ground slope <clears throat> like this and here if we do have contact then we need to apply down slope times that Okay. Nice. We do need to add also some friction only when the the wheels are touching down. So here, um, at this stage where we do have the ground slope, and the ground slope basically, uh, the negative of the ground slope is um, the, the friction. The, the, the direction of the friction it is the direction of the friction's force. This again. Uh, the frictions force direction 
Okay. So right after we reflect the velocity, we need to subtract <clears throat> the ground slope. I hope. <laughs> um, times delta. Hmm. Let's try that and see. Well, that cannot be true because as the larger the velocity, the stronger the 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 friction force. So. Actually, no. It is not. It is not the ground slope. No, no. It is just the the linear velocity itself times one minus one f <coughs> times the delta. Let's make a strong. Friction just to see if uh, we have any effect of it at all. Do we? I don't think we do have one. Hmm. This is a problem that uh, let's straighten the ground again. Are you going to stop or not? Very slowly. Why? Hmm. Oh no, this is not delta. This is the entirely. Um, yeah, okay. Now let's subtract ten percent of that thing. Okay.
nice and we do have friction Or do we? Yeah. Let's uh, update the uh, maximum acceleration to forty. <laughs> okay, let's uh, make it like uh, I don't know, 150. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, that's that's way too much, right? Yeah. And this is uh, uh now we need weight. In order to to have more speed, and we are going to play with the mass here. So I don't know. Let's uh, make that five, five, five. That's the wheel. Five and five and five. I hope the uh, <laughs> the um, the strings will um, will handle the the extra weight, which I doubt. But yeah, there it is. Oh. That's a problem. Hmm. Not sure if that is how things should be let's go zoom in Whoa. Okay. Maybe the problem is that the the wheels doesn't support the middle one, like probably. It is like where it is much uh, kinetic energy here building up in this uh, 
uh, in these joints probably yeah this is uh, okay <clears throat> let's uh, add two more joints And that probably is between 0 and 2. Yeah. And we need between 4 and 2 for the wheel to the middle one. What happened? What's happening? I'm not sure. <clears throat> Is any missing connection missing? I hope not. These middle middle one ones must go. Yeah. <clears throat> And the middle one are the two. And sixth. Oh my god. Again, all the connections. Okay. Let's do this. It is zero to one. Zero to two. And um, no, 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 two, three, four, and five. So you are the third one, the third one, and um, sometimes these things are better to be in um, uh, an editor to make an editor or something. Maybe in the future we will. Okay, and uh, that is now that is one to two. And we need to add one to four, one to five. And then the same for the two, but like so. And then from four to five, let's see. Yeah, much better.
Mağaz bölür. Oh my god. Okay, now we need to relax maybe the that guy and this guy for a better suspension. Oh, not that much. Not that much. We can uh, always uh, come. Uh, we can always return in the future and fix this uh, values for now. It's okay. What I will do for now, because I I really want to continue with this, is I'm going to make that uh, like seventeen five, uh, 74, 75. Oh, there is a lot of dynamics going on in the system, right? I also don't understand why this thing is looking like it is broken. It makes no sense. It should not be like this. <laughs> let's let's add a zero here. Let's see what's going to be happened. What so we need? Yeah. Wait, we have double connection here. One four. Nice.
draw. All right. And also, we need to have the friction, um, a value here. So for it, for this simple particle, we will have a value, and it will specify the the friction it will have with the grounds. Okay, let's uh, do that one. like this and now yeah this guy is complaining and um, let's uh, do that like this and like this Okay, and for the wheels, and only for the wheels, and the wheels is this one, is going to be, let's say, like this. And like this. Okay. And now we must use that value in the calculation for the um, friction to be here. Yeah. Now, because this uh, one has total friction, so the entire um, velocity of that is going to be zero. Maybe we will keep it that way. I don't know yet. Go, 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 little car, go. Whoop, yeah, yeah. I don't know, the friction should be the should do this, but hmm. for now, we can just hack it and do it like. Well, vector reflection to the rescue, right? We are going to reflect, not reflect, back project that velocity to the slope. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that looks way more uh, realistic. So now the friction is only affects the the uh, proportional. To the slope, right? So, is it?
Yeah, it is too much friction right now. Oh, where are you? Let's make the friction for for that to be much more more or less. Let's add like this here. Yeah. Hmm, still too much friction. Let's make that point five and let's call it the <clears throat> Okay. I think um, at least up to this point we have the basic um, uh, mechanics for the game and uh, in the next video we are going to start adding some graphics to the game and um, yeah I will see you there.